All right, it's Sheriff from the Touring Camper, and we're going to work on doing a pineapple upside down cake this evening here in the Dutch oven. So I can start this one of three ways. I can either start it on the, the stove like I have it, I can hang it on the tripod over the fire, or I can use the charcoal that I have going. But because I want to do the finesse on this first step, I'm going to do it here over the stove. So I already have my Dutch preheated, and I'm going to take a stick of butter, put that stick of butter down in here. It won't take much to get that melted up. Okay, and I'm going to add to that stick of butter the pineapples. But the pineapples, I'm not going to. I'm going to save the juice. So I just want to put just the tidbits or just the little chunks down in. I'm going to save the juice. We'll use those in a later step. So let me get this butter kind of moved around here a little bit. Probably one can's not quite enough, so I'm going to open a second can up and put probably about half of the second can in. What you want to do is you want to get the bottom of that layer of that pan, that Dutch oven, covered with pineapple. Now it all depends on what size Dutch oven you're using. This is a 12 inch Dutch, so that's why it takes me two uh, boxes of cake mix and probably about a can and a half of pineapples. If you're using a smaller Dutch oven, like a 10 inch, you probably could get away with just one can and one box of cake mix, but because this is such a big Dutch, because I also use it for my scout troop as well, that's why. All right, so now that that's simmering a little bit, I also add to that probably about a cup to a cup and a half of brown sugar. We're gonna caramelize that in as well. And then I save just a little bit to put on the topping. I'm going to mix that around a little bit. And then we're going to let that simmer for maybe about five or ten minutes to get those pineapples nice and soft. And then we'll be right back and I'll show All you the right, next we're back step. for step two and Kristen's going to come in here and show you kind of how I have these pineapples simmering nice and what we're doing, the idea is we want them to simmer in that butter and that brown sugar until they get nice and tender. So that's the idea, you want them to just simmer a little bit, that's why I decided to do it on the stove. While that's simmering we're going to come over here and I'm going to get the batter mixed up. Okay, so here's how I do the batter. I'm going to take the gluten free, and we're doing gluten free cake mix here. I'm going to do two packages because that's, like I said before, a big Dutch, it's a 12 inch Dutch. So, put two of those in. Okay. Two eggs. And that juice that I saved from the pineapples, we're going to use that instead of anything else. We're not going to use the milk, we're not going to use any oil, we're just going to use the pineapple juice. And this here, you want it to be about as thick as pancake batter is the idea. So depending on your mix, will depend on how much juice you got to use, but you want to make it about as thick as pancake batter, so that one bit of that jar is not going to be enough, so I'm going to need some more. I'm wondering if I'm going to need a little bit more liquid. Probably gonna. Uh, 
Alright, so I'm out of liquid, so I'm going to have to come right back with a little bit more liquid. I'm going to probably use a little bit of milk because that's what it says on the cake batter to use. So I'm going to have to put a little bit of milk to that just to soften it up a little bit. So Alright, right so we're back. back. And last time I did this, I did have plenty of juice and I used an Aldi yellow baking mix. And it's a little different than this cake mix. That's why I'm going to have to use a little bit of milk. So I have to put some milk in it. And like I say, we're just going to basically pancake batter texture. So I'm going to have to add it until I get the right texture here. Getting the lumps out. Still not quite there. Nice. That's about where we want it. Maybe just a little bit thinner, not much. All right, let's take a look at those pineapples now that this is kind of mixed up. Let's see where we're at with those. All right, they're getting about to where I want them. I think they're nice and soft, so we're going to go ahead and pour the cake batter. We're going to turn the heat down on this. We're going to pour the cake batter on top, then I'll put the lid on it, and uh, then we're going to do the final step. So here we go. So just carefully, you don't want to try to get it to go under that. You want it to kind of just stay on top of your pineapple mixture so those pineapples stay on the bottom. There should be enough butter if you use that full stick of butter, or if you have a little smaller Dutch, maybe a little bit less than a stick of butter. But there should be enough butter in the bottom of this that you're not going to stick to the sides or to the bottom or anything like that. That's the idea, especially if you have a well-seasoned Dutch. good so uh, I'm gonna put the lid on it and I'll show you the final step over by the campfire all right you might be wondering why I have the fire going that's another recipe I'm gonna be doing here but we've got the Dutch I got all the pineapple upside down goodness in there and I started these coals probably about 30 minutes ago so they're nice and hot so because I already simmered those pineapples on the bottom they're pretty much cooked so I don't need them to cook all I need really to cook is that top uh, cake mix so I am only going to put my coals on top so that I use my Dutch oven completely like a conventional oven. So it's going to act convection oven, I'm sorry. So it's just going to cook that cake from the top down into that pineapple. So that's the goal here. Um, so I'll let this sit for probably about 40, 45 minutes. So we'll come back and check it in a little bit. Sounds great.